today. Yeah, not bad. Well, at least the weather's nice. I know, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, guys? We're back to the land where I rescued the bird, but also lost, I'm pretty sure it was the biggest trout I've ever hooked. I mean, I never saw it, but if I had to guess, it'd probably be in the 10 pound-ish range. So I'm back out here again. We're gonna give it a shot for a few hours. I'm out here in the afternoon this time, uh, just because that's when I had time to. And we're gonna do a little bit of a test. So this time I brought my normal trout setup, six pound mono, uh, main line with four pound fluorocarbon leader. And also my second rod, I brought my salmon setup. And for one, one reason is because the trout in here basically the same size as a small salmon and also I wanted to do a little test so in my experience these stocked rainbow trout you know the trout that they raise in a hatchery feed them pellets and these little pens for their whole lives and then plant them here for recreational fishermen like you and I to catch I feel like those fish are not line shy at all so we're gonna test that today so on this setup I got 20 pound mono and 15 pound mono leader with a tiny little hook there. So I'm using the exact same thing as on my regular trout setup as this one, just a lot heavier line. Some people might say, oh, there's no chance you're gonna catch one on this. The line's way too heavy, the trout will see that. And in my opinion, if it was a wild rainbow trout, yeah, they'd probably be right. I mean, those fish are a lot smarter. They're uh, a lot more line shed. But in my opinion, my experience, these stock trout, I don't think they're gonna catch. So I'm gonna use the same weight, same bait, same hook, control the same speed at the same depth. Only difference is a lot heavier line on this rod. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, I may or may not have one, possibly two special guests coming later on in this video. But first, we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Oh, shoot. Is there fish on here? Yeah, I got a fish on here. Just as I was messing around with this other rod, trying to set it back up, something grabbed this one. That is why it pays to keep your lines in, even when you don't think you're fishing. Just, holy smokes, this is something big. And I don't have much line on here. I don't know if you can see that. We're all the way down to the spool, so I gotta chase this one down. This is a good fish, whatever it is. We may have hooked the mystery beast that I lost last time I was here. Yeah, this is, this is a heavy fish. When it wants to go, it's going. So this was on the light setup. I mentioned earlier in the video, I was gonna try heavy and light, see if these fish were line shy at all. And this is on the light setup, my normal trout setup. goes again. That is a good fish. I was literally just messing around with this setup. I was just checking it to see if there's anything hung up on line. I like to check my lines every 15 minutes or so to see if there's any grass hanging off of our bait. Because uh, if you have grass hanging off, more than likely you're not going to catch anything. But while I was doing that, I left this one in the water. And it feels like a good trout went and picked it up. I don't think he's done. He's gonna definitely go on at least one more run. Until she wants to see the kayak. Back off the drag a little bit. There it goes. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. Look at that. Look at that. Holy smokes. I'm not gonna lie, this feels literally like exactly like the last one did. My last video, the one that came off the surface over there. 
right on the surface. We out him. Probably can't see him. I don't think this angle's gonna catch it, but he just hit the surface over there. Let's not have a repeat of our last trout adventure. There he is. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. There he goes again. Oh yeah, it's a good one for sure. <laughs> All right, we're in for a battle here. We're at a stalemate right here. You're losing light line like this, you just gotta tire him out. It's not really, can't rush it. Just gotta let it play out. Once he's tired, then you can go in for it. But if you rush it at all with this light line, it's not gonna work. You'll break him off just like that. There he goes. There he goes. I also have an osprey right here. I've seen them attack fish that are online. I think he's moving on. But that would be devastating. Let's come back this way. No, no, no. Don't come this way. Uh oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. He's definitely eyeing my fish. 100%. The longer you fight a fish like this, the bigger the hole in the mouth from that hook gets and the easier it is for the hook to come out. So, so you can't rush it, but the longer it goes, the more chance you have of losing it. So gotta, gotta play that fine line. Oh, that's a big trout. Pretty sure this is a PB if I can get him. We're 10 minutes into the battle. Trying to tire him out. I think we're almost there. We're almost to this point where we can get him close enough to scoop him up with the net. Okay. Got him. Oh, that's a big trout right there. Uh, what's that? How big? I don't know. I think like maybe seven or eight pounds. Dang. It's a good one. On the drop, huh? Yeah. Always put them on the stringer first. You won't regret it. Wait till you guys see this thing. Mm, look at that. I'd say it's probably about seven or eight pounds. That'd be my guess. Stud. Pretty sure that's my PB. And that's why he was fighting so good. A lot of the stocked fish, their tails are either sawed all the way off or just really down to bare bones. But that one, still a little clipped at the top, but pretty good as far as stalker fish go. That's why he was able to pull a drag so easily. But look at that thing. As good as it comes when it comes to stalker fish. And check this out. There's also another line in here. Someone else hooked him at some point and lost him. Fortunately for us, he wasn't able to escape the second time. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got two leaders in here. He's been hooked twice before and got away both times. There's one of the hooks. There's another one, another leader. It's all the way down the throat, I'm not gonna be able to get that one. And then ours is also in there. So as mentioned in my last video, this bump board right here is a lifesaver when it comes to measuring your fish on the kayak. And last time I hooked myself when I was trying to measure something, but this time I took the hook out. So we don't have to worry about that. 
Let's get him on here. I'm just curious what this guy measures. Twenty four inches. Or actually twenty three and three quarters. Just under twenty four. So I'll leave this thing linked in the description below if you want to check it out. Like I said, highly recommend if you're ever needing to measure anything on the kayak. It's a lot easier than using a traditional tape measure. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, anytime I catch a fish on light line that pulls a lot of drag, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but our line's all uh, twisted up. It's not tangled, but it's all twisted. And that's because every time this the drag comes off the reel, it's twisting it. You can see it just flying off, all twisted up. So in order to untwist it, what I like to do is just let out a bunch of line with no bait on the end, just the hook and a swivel. Just let out a bunch of line, just kind of troll it forward for a little bit. And that'll allow the line, it won't be perfect, you'll still have some twist in there, but it'll allow the line to untwist itself. And you can see right here, it's all twisted up. You go and try to cast or just anything, do anything with a fish, this line is liable to twist up on itself and tangle itself on something. And you never want that when you're in dire need. Okay, can we put this on you? For safety? Hold on. All right, guys, it's official. We packed two people and one dog on a single Hobie Outback. We have Olaf's inaugural trip on the kayak. Also, my wife's first trip. Yeah, they can see him. They're both enjoying it immensely. They're probably gonna want one even more than I do after this. Oh yeah, we have. We'll have sleep jacket on for safety. That's true. That's okay. We just main thing is the dog is safe. <laughs> we already caught our fish, but we'll see if we can catch another one here. All right guys, I think we're gonna wrap this up. Everyone's getting cold and uncomfortable, but we did catch our one trout. It was a good one. And I'll have to test this line theory another time. One fish just isn't gonna tell us the whole story. So thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Olaf's tired, he's gonna take a nap. Oh my god. About to get oh. dumped on. Oh. We'll see you next time.